tell the beggar king he's done on these docks. No payouts, no shipments. From here straight to Dicker's Wharf, Limehouse belongs to Bonfire Annie. He decides to argue the case or send anyone else to. There's not a shadow he can hide in. Not even this one. How about that one? <coughs> Tell me why I shouldn't kill you. Oh, I think you should have. Oh, fuck off! I have enough snuffer in here to mummify you. The same goes for you, Mrs. True. What? The scenario is a sight more violent than advertised. You said we were going to speak. We are. This is our language. And now you're no better than her. I am much better than her. Not if you punch her in the <coughs> face. Don't! All right. Parlay. You can speak your piece, but I will burn us all to death if I have to hear you bicker. Pennant, you think maybe you could put out that fire before it spreads? Uh... We won't fight. How in fuck's name did that girl sneak up on me? We were here before you were. The Burger King's men aren't notably attentive. Pennant's even sneezed once. How do you know I was here? I saw it. The fire, the cart. It's my turn. Ripplings. I do still want to kill you a bit. Go ahead. But I'm not covering for you when she finds out. I don't know where Malady is. And I'm not turning myself in or any I kind of... I want you to join us. At the orphanage. <laughs> and you want to kill me? More well, contradictions. You nearly killed my best friend. And you saved my life. Yeah, that was an accident. It was a reflex. I think it was your natural instinct. My natural instinct is to burn things down. We can accommodate that. Is that the mission you were going on about? Mary Brighton brings in all the touched with her little lullaby, then we overthrow the monarchy. Nothing that grand. All that small. I quit Mandy because I was sick of riddles. We'd stop making money. You know we're dying. Attached. We're being attacked, locked up and thrown in the street. Not everyone got such a formidable turn. And it's getting worse. You have enemies you don't know about yet. So I should hide with your sad little gaggle. I'm fine. All by myself. You still feel it. Mary's soul. You know what a better world could be like. It isn't real, that feeling. It's a fantasy. You don't trust it any more than I do. Might as well have been that cart full of opium I just torched. Cart full of what? Don't roll away, lovely. I'll make it up to you. I fell on my snuffer. <laughs> I don't like all that smoke to come at me, but this hero broke my fall. My back feels fine, tingling like my hand fingers. She found a better world. <laughs> That's too many of me. <coughs> Amalia, come and see my soul trapped in a jar. If you rub it, I'll give you wishes. You'll never guess what the fire was. It's opium, my love. It was the air. But also the cloud that wanted thunder, but was too gentle to hold it. Oh. Bonnie Annie's gone away. Come on, that's enough opium for tonight. Oh, maybe just... Okay, let me check, you stay here. Did you feel the thunder that wasn't? I feel it all the time. We have the best jobs. Yeah.